Hello, everyone. I'm Manurag. So I've actually been trying to like get on this stage like back since 2016, um, and here I am actually this time. So like, thanks a lot for this opportunity, and thank you all for being here. So what I want to talk about actually is like version 2.0 of a software that we developed. But before I go into that, like a quick background about like what the software is all about. So a blast is a really popular tool to like compare sequences, and with the drop in sequencing prices, that has created a lot of opportunities for like novel research, which relies on comparing newly obtained and like previously known sequences. The example use cases could be very simple, like to locate a genomic region of interest in an assembly, or even to like just look at the pairwise alignments visually to characterize gene functions and so on. So. The be generally what is done is like you just go to NCBI and run a blast search there. Uh, but, but a lot of like new sequences, it takes time to be uploaded. And, and then like long searches can be terminated on these servers. So what you may have to do is run blast locally. Uh, to do that, you can use the command line. Or you can use a really nice like, you know, web interface that, that is what sequence server is about. You just give it the location of the directory containing your FASTA file sequences, and it will do everything for you, including like, downloading BLAST, the software itself, um, formatting the FASTA files into like, BLAST databases, and like, creating the search form. Um, very briefly, this is how the results page look. There's an alignment overview on top, like a table of hits, and then you can zoom down to the pairwise alignments. I have been using my own software for when, when, when I was a research assistant. Currently, I'm doing a PhD. And, and it quickly became apparent to me like what would be really helpful would be to have like a couple of visualizations, a really standard ones, to facilitate interpretation of results. So for that, like, we were faced with like, two options. One of the first option was to generate like, some static images, like a PNG file like, on, the uh, on the server, and just insert that in HTML or try to use one of the JavaScript libraries, because the JavaScript library for visualization, the, the ecosystem is huge, and you can create interactive visualizations. So um, that, that is the approach we took. And for, and for that, um, we, we export all the results, uh, the BLAST results, to the browser. And that has enabled us to like, reuse some of the existing visualization libraries. So this is the example of the first visualization that I've, we have included. The whole idea is to provide a summary of the, all your queries and all hits all at once. In this example, I'm just showing one query against one hit. Uh, and the green region was the query of interest. And what we wanted to see was if that region is conserved in another well-studied species. And boom, like, you know, just very apparent that like, you know, it is actually like, rearranged in this other species. The, the, the other question was, we, we, a lot of times we're working with predicted protein sequences that are not yet verified. And to be able to like, you know, verify are they correct or not, like one thing we often do is go to SwissProt, like take a blast, and compare the length to the most similar hits. And, and this one, like in you know, a right away, tells you like the most similar hits have a length of around 400 amino acids, but my predicted sequence falls 50 amino acids short. So clearly, there is a problem with that sequence. So further investigation, we, we realized like there was a frame shift. This is another example. This, is, this visualization is actually called Kablam. It's from Jeff Wintersinger. We integrated it here because, again, so the top uh, axis is my query sequence, and the bottom axis is my um, it was a new assembly that I generated, basically. And why I was interested in like, visualizing this was because there was a really high depth of coverage in that region. And on blasting it to the new assembly, which was done using long reads, indicated that there could be a tandem duplication like, going on there. Um, and in this particular case, I'm still not convinced there could be an assembly artifact as well. And that's something I'm going to investigate. Um, in, in creating this feature, uh, we, we also implemented a couple other features, like you know, there's this, we, you don't just have to run BLAST through Sequence Server, you can run BLAST anywhere on your command line on a grid engine for more power, but import the results into Sequence Server and visualize them. So any BLAST compatible XML format is fine, and that allows us to use Diamond as well. Uh, you can also like bookmark and share these results. Uh, we also have this async job sub uh, submission architecture, which basically means on, on large websites there will be no timeouts. And if you wanted to, you could even integrate it with great engines. That is something I'm going to be working on uh, on my site as well. Um, since I've run out of time, I'll, I'll stop here because this is pretty much about it. Um, currently, this is in beta. We'll be making it into stable release, a few optimizations, some pretty uh, prettification of the visualizations. And as an outlook, it's basically this. Um, be, all the results are available in browser. New visualizations can be integrated rapidly. One could do interactive filtering. 
and, and finally, um, being able to like learn, use bl large blast searches, is, that's the kind of the goal. So feel free to use it um, and also to contribute to this. Thank you so much.